All right, so we got a Damascus billet welded up here. We got some alternating layers of various thickness. 15 and 20 and 1084. We're gonna go ahead and get this thrown in the forge. Grab it, bring it over here. Oh, that's heavy. We're gonna set that up there. In you go. All right, we'll wait for that to come up the tent. All right, so uh, we had a little bit of oil there on the bottom die huddled up, and when I struck it the first time, it combusted. So caught me off guard a little bit there, forgot what I was doing, so we're going give to it, give it another shot, bring it back up to forge welding temperature, and set the welds again. And we'll do it a third time. Really only the second time. The f that first initial combustion kind of threw me off. So I like to set my forge welds twice. I like to bring it up to temperature twice and then start drawing out my billet. So now we're going to start bringing the, the Damascus billet down. We're only going to put, you know, a third of the billet over the top of the die at the time. You can really draw your material out very quickly that way if you don't have a set of drawing dies. I have them, but I don't like changing them out all the time. So I'm just going to use the flat dies for this. So we've turned it 90 degrees. We're going to square up our billet here. We had a big rectangular block there, and now we're going to bring it down to a one by one inch square after several heaps of drawing. So the bar is getting a little long. We're gonna hot cut it in half here in a second. I forgot to hit the record button, so I didn't get to record me cutting the billet in half, so I apologize for that. But it's definitely easier than waiting to let the bar cool down and trying to cut it with a, a cutoff wheel or something like that. It's just a pain. You can make quick work of it with a hot cutter. All right, so we've hot cut our billet. We have a more manageable size piece here. Now we're gonna finish bringing it down to our desired dimensions, our one by one inch square. All right, after we have our one by one inch square, it's time to turn our square bar into an octagon. It's gonna make it a lot easier to twist up if you don't have the, the corners. So after we get an octagon, we're gonna heat it up again, bring it over to the vise and start twisting. Ooh, I forgot to hit the record button on the first two heats twist in the bar. So here we are, we've already made some progress. We're gonna twist this thing up until it looks like a piece of all thread real tight. We don't want a loose twist, at least not for this purpose. A lo loose twist doesn't look bad all the time, but we're making this Damascus for a few projects and none of them require a loose twist. So tight, tight it is.
All right, so now we're gonna re-square up our bar. We've got it all twisted up. We're gonna make it usable in case we decide we wanna cut and restack it and make maybe a Turkish twist. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna make with this Damascus yet. But here we've got an end cut. Again, off camera, I did a hot cut. I cut the very end of the Damascus bar off. We're gonna flatten it, grind it clean, and then do a test etch. So here we have our twist Damascus. We have a, the other half of our billet from earlier when we did our hot cut. It's still a line Damascus. We can figure out what we're gonna do with it later. And now we have our test piece ground clean. We're gonna do a etch in ferric chloride for a few seconds, do a pattern reveal. So this is just a, a simple Damascus video. If you've enjoyed it, you know, give it a like, maybe subscribe. See you on the next one.